Thanks for tuning in, everybody. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Uh, in this lesson, I just want to show you a quick trick. Uh, whenever I use a user form, on rare occasions, I will want it to offer to close the report after the report has been run. So in this instance, it would pop up a message box that says, hey, you know, basically, um, would you like to close this report or leave it open kind of thing and uh, it looks very professional sometimes that kind of feature could be considered annoying to your people who are going to be running that report a gazillion times a day and they will basically close it whenever they're darn well good and ready but on some occasions you want it to just offer that way they can click print and as soon as the print preview you know, menu closes and the document prints. It says, do you want to close this report? And if they click yes, then it would take them probably back to this home sheet. So some people might want that feature. So let's put it in there just for fun. So we're going to, uh, we see when we click here, it opens up that. We can run the report and it selects that sheet. Um, if we click the print preview, then it will open it up like that. What we want to do is when we close the print preview, it will pop up a little message. So, Alt F11. And in fact, we're going to make sure that, uh, let's see, we're in our form. It's called Hide Form. Let's double click on the button that has all the code for this particular report. And, um, So we want, as soon as the print preview message uh, closes, or I guess we, uh, you may want it here. You may want it to run no matter if they did a print preview uh, is checked or not. So you may want it right here at the end of the code, or you may want it only if the print preview button is checked and after they closed or printed the document for it to run. Let's assume that you just want it to always open, or you want it to always offer to close that. So let's, um, what's our variable going to be? We could just say the answer to our question, answer equals message box. You have to do an open, uh, open parentheses in order to do a message box that has uh, a yes or a no kind of thing that you want to capture in this answer thing. So the message box, what is our prompt? We do quotes, and we're going to say, uh, would you like to close this? Uh, report. Sounds better than sheet, doesn't it? Question mark, end quote. Hit a comma. So what buttons would we like to use? We're going to say VB yes, no. You could do yes, no, cancel. You could do VB all these different things, OK only, or OK cancel. We like to do VBS no, and comma, and do we want a title? Sure, close report, question mark, end quote. OK, so this help file and the context, all that stuff is irrelevant for this experiment. So hit end parentheses, and there you have it. So your answer is going to trap either VB yes or VB no. So let's let's see what happens there. Um, I'm going to click that button there to stop the macro right on that line, and then we can continue it as it's running. So we're going to run the report. Does a print preview? It knows it waits around until we either print or close the print preview. I'm going to close it because I don't want to waste ink. But it does trap us right here. Answer is empty because we have not ru uh, run that line. The like yes or no question. So let's go ahead and prepare for it. If answer, and that's just a variable, you could say x, if x equals, as long as this was x also. If answer equals vb yes, then, so if they answered yes, we'd like to close this report, then that's what we're going to act on. Otherwise, if they clicked vb no, who cares? We don't want to do anything in this instance. So if answer equals vb yes, then, and uh, this is the name of the sheet, ER sheet. It's the the variable anyway that represents the, that sheet. So ER sheet dot visible equals false. Or we could use Excel sheet hidden or Excel sheet very hidden. Um, so I'm just going to say false, which means that it's just hidden. 
end if. Okay. So if they answer yes to this question, then it will make this particular report go invisible. So let's test it both ways. F8, would you like to close this report? Well, let's say no. And so if answer equals VB yes, well, it's not, so it's going to skip over there. Let's backtrack. Take your little yellow arrow and backtrack up to here, and let's answer that question differently this time. Would you like to close this report? Click yes. So if answer equals VB yes, looks like the variables both equal the number 6 now, so they are correct. Uh, and then it'll just make it invisible. Visibility equals false. So hit F8 and end if. So we see that in the background here that it is working. Let's go ahead and run our report both ways now. So run your report. And let's pretend I printed it. I'm going to click the close print preview. But let's pretend I printed it. Would you like to close this report? Sure. And it does. And it makes it invisible and it's neat and tidy. In fact, I'm going to hide these other two worksheets just for just for effect here. So we only have the home sheet open. So you click here to open, run and play report. Bam, there's our report. Uh, oh, well, that's no fun. Let's see here. I'm going to pause the video while this silly program fixes itself. Okay. Uh, that was really annoying. I actually... Uh, lost most of my progress so uh, lesson of the day save your progress yeah I had to retype most of this from memory so uh, I know it's not exact but I think we were going through uh, these two scenarios whether we click uh, whether we click close report yes or if we clicked oh goody it's doing it again well Anyway, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Okay, so I've just tested it like a gazillion times. And I think it may have to do with this um, the, uh, screen capture program uh, running in correlation with the macros. I don't, I don't know if that's true, but that's, yeah, yeah, that's very strange. So as soon as I start recording... Um, method clear contents of object range failed. Let's click debug and see what in the world's going on here. Debug. Okay. So basically whenever this program is recording the screen it's going to give me a nasty error. So sorry you don't get to see it but trust me it works. So thanks for watching.